Alrighty, welcome back to the final section, which will wrap up messaging. And that is creating space notifications. And in a nutshell, what we will do is create a bot. We won't make this an official bot tutorial, but the instructions are pretty basic. So we're going to try and follow along with it. It does warrant, I believe, a follow up section, which would be a lot longer. But this, please note, is highly customizable. Covering every field is, is nearly impossible. But we will give it a shot on, on just the basics for you to follow along with here. Okay. So we're going to start off in WebEx Admin. And we're going to scroll down to WebEx Space Notifications. We immediately jump to pasting the bot access token in the provided field. That is the part that I do not want to lose you on. So we're going to jump on over to developer.webex.com and show you how to get that started. And I believe once you do that, things will become much more apparent. And then from the object list, select the object that you want to track. Endless objects for you to track. The great thing is at the bottom, if you keep scrolling, you'll see some examples for you to edit here. Well, you can't actually edit here, but you could mimic these, for example. Okay. And there is a lot more information at developer.salesforce.com. I strongly suggest uh, creating an account there as well as you did with the developer.webex.com. Okay. So we are going to follow these instructions. We're going to go to developer.webex and let's get started. Okay, so I'm already logged in. And because I've been here so many times, we're going to start building an app. And this website has come such a long way. And it's pretty intuitive. So obviously, we're going to go down the track of creating a bot. And the bot name. There's just the last three that are cached. Let's see. Bots for Webex. Let's just give it the same thing. Immediately, it will start querying and doing a lookup. It will let you know if this bots for WX1 at webex.bot will let you know if it's available. Just something to note. To add this bot, which is really the final creation step, until you address these fields here, for example, the purpose of this bot is for notifications. For SFDC Webex notifications, any field changes we'd like to know be this bot in that's a member of a WebEx space, for example. Please note, I still can't do that. I literally need to select my default icon. Go with that one. And now I can create this bot. And there we go. And let's just go back to the instructions here briefly. Paste the bot access token in the notification field. That would be roll to the bottom. We're, we're in WebEx admin. There we are, WebEx admin. So you always know where you are. Scroll to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. WebEx space notifications. And this is a previous one that I've had here. Let's. Get rid of that and let's copy this token. Zulu Delta Echo. Here you go. I like to keep things uniform.
you could name this and customize whatever you'd like. And that's where we start with our objects. Endless fields that we can go that we can go through here. So um, for example, you scroll to the bottom, you can mimic something that's here if it's relevant to what you would like to do. In this scenario here, there's a case change. In this scenario, the opportunity, the object and the track fields, the order number, for example, and there's the message. So if we were to pick this one, there's a case change. The object is case, the track field is status. Object. Case. And the track fields. Multiple again, right? We could try and mimic it exactly. Uh, and go status. Over. The case, this is the message that you would like sent to the space. The case status change to statuses in double brackets. And you would literally, you could copy this and paste it in. After that's done, you would then add that bot. And the name of that bot that we created is bots for wx1 at webex.bot. We would then add that bot to a webex space. So when a field changes, we get a notification.